Hello, and welcome to today's video on how to check out a network license for Trimble Business Center. On the remote machine, or the PC that you'll be using Trimble Business Center on, open TBC up, navigate to the Support tab, and open the License Manager. From there, in the lower left-hand corner, you'll be able to open the Sentinel Admin Control Center. From there, the first thing we're going to want to do is locate the network license that we are going to use. Once you have located your license, navigate to the Net Features icon. Once you have the features open, you want to scroll through the pages until you find the feature called Scope TBC. To the right of this, under Concurrency, will be a number. This is the total number of seats that you have available on this license. Note that there always has to be at least one license on the network server, so in this case I can only check out two licenses. Once we've found the license that we want to use and ensured that it has enough seats to be checked out, we want to navigate to the Configuration tab and then Detachable Licenses. From here, we want to make sure that On-Demand Detaching of License is checked as enabled. We can set the maximum duration with the default being 14 days and hit submit. Next, we want to go to the Access to Remote License Manager page. Make sure that Allow Access to Remote Licenses and Broadcast Search for Remote Licenses are both checked. In the Remote License Search Parameters box, we need to enter the IP address of the license server itself. This is where we will be looking to find the license. Once we have the remote machine configured, we also need to make sure that the server itself is correctly configured. Open Centennial Admin Control Center on the server. Again, go to the Configurations tab and then Access from Remote Clients. From here, the big thing is ensuring that the access restrictions is set to Allow equals All and hit Submit. If both machines are configured properly, we can go back to the License Manager in TBC set the license type to Perpetual Network, and do a search for the license server. Once you've found the license server, it should show that you have features licensed by that key ID. Also note that the checkout box should no longer be grayed out. Once you select checkout, you'll get a pop-up asking you to select the correct license server and set the expiration date of the checkout. Once you have this set, and select OK, you'll get another pop-up making sure that you want to apply these changes. Click Yes. Once you have the license checked out, a temporary software key ID will be generated and shown in the License Manager. Also notice that there's an expiration date set for each feature. From here, you also have the option to extend the checkout if you need to. If we want to check the license back in prior to the expiration, we can once again open Centennial Admin Control Center, go to Products, find the license in question, and select Cancel License. Once we cancel the license, we'll get another page once again asking us if that is in fact what we want to do.